Oh, Bitcoin, it's been a minute since we've done a charting video. In this video, I'm going to go over where I think Bitcoin is headed. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Discord so you can get on on these trades with us. We're finally back and we're going to be sharing a lot of trading opportunities so we can make money in this bear market. Let's start off with higher time frames. We're going to start off with the monthly time frame. And before I get into it, a lot of people had the theory that Bitcoin will never trade past prior or below prior bull market highs. And in 2013, we saw uh, approximately $1,100. And in 2017, we saw approximately $20,000. And if you look at price right now, we're trading well below $20,000 at $16,500. So a lot of people who thought it would never hit $20,000, and I thought that for a little bit too, it, we just got wiped. And if we add the 50 EMA right here, you can see how well we respected it here. We just peaked under here, but we bounced pretty hard. And then this was the COVID crash just piercing it, but we stayed above. Now we are trading about approximately five weeks under the 50 EMA on the monthly. So it hasn't been pretty at all. And if we take a look at the um, four and nine, it's awesome for buying opportunities and even getting out, not at the top, but close to the top. You can see here, there is a great buy. Instead of selling at $1,100 or $20,000, you got out at approximately $8,200 with the bottom being in 2018 at $3,000. You got in here, wrote it all the way to the top. You didn't sell at $69,000, but you got out at approximately $40,000, $47,000, which is a lot better than $16,000 if you ended up bag holding Bitcoin. Um, and I also wanted to show this as well right here. We, if we use the Fibonacci, there still might be a lot of downside. Like we're in a clear downtrend here. And with downtrends, we make lower highs and lower lows. So this is our lower high. This is our lower low. This is our lower high right here. We didn't get much of a big bounce. And if we follow this, you know, Fibonacci extension, we may actually reach all the way down to $9,000. And I'm not gonna mark that right here. I found a way better uh, area of like confluence that I was looking at that I think it's very likely for Bitcoin to hit. And I don't wanna be bear posting that we're gonna trade to $10,000 because it's so hard right now, given like the sentiment of the market, what's happening all over the world. But if you take a look at this area that I've marked out right here, we faced resistance. Right here we faced, and this is like major resistance. And then right here, after breaking that major resistance and using that as support, we bounced into a huge bull market. So taking a look at that, that's $10,500. I don't think Bitcoin will break down easily. First of all, the huge 10,000 psychological number, I don't think it's gonna be a battle. It's like ETH holding the $1,000 mark. I don't think we will break down that easily or stay below $10,000 for too long if we do see that. Like I said, I don't want to cause, you know, FUD. I don't want to cause a lot of fear, but that's kind of like a strong area that I'm looking for. And it's in line with the Fibonacci extension. So if we go back here, let me delete these. We're going to go down to these smaller time frames. We're going to go down to the day and uh, take a look at the current price action in where I think Bitcoin, so this was 10,500. I'm just gonna leave that line right there. And where I think Bitcoin may actually head to. So right now, what we've seen, and on smaller time frames, you might be able to see it a lot easier, but we've seen a triple bottom right here. So you see one, two, three, we had decent news today. It wasn't bad from the feds. So we saw a little bit of action on Bitcoin. I am thinking that, I'm gonna just add these moving averages again. I am thinking that we are, and let me remove this Fibonacci. It's thinking that we are going to pump up a little bit and then actually uh, get rejected. So I'm looking for Hopefully it can pump up as high as the 20,000. Maybe it's the last time we see 20,000 for a little bit, but even this right here, testing this area, we'll see if we can break right through. 
Uh, that will be heavy resistance right here as well. You can see it's used as support, 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 and then we just smashed right through. So if we can break above 18.7, then the 20K region is my um, target. This is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking either for a rejection here, which might coincide with this moving average that's moving there, so we'll see more confluence. And I'm ultimately looking for a retest of lows and potentially new lows, all the way down to the 11 to 13K range. And if I, let me map that range out for us. That would be, uh, right, let me delete that, then map the range out. The range I'm looking at would be starting from here, this wick up here, so 14K, all the way down to the support. And you can see right here, I'm going to, and this is a huge uh, zone, it's a $2,000 spread. So let me just do that and highlight that in green. So from here, the top, down to here. From 14K, from 14K, to 12k and you can see massive support here as well I don't think we'll break down that too easily so this is what I'm kind of looking for you can see that as I mentioned in a downtrend we're making lower lows and it's more evident on smaller time frames lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows and can we retest a lower high right here before we continue to break down? I don't think there's like any catalyst or any news that is going to pump up Bitcoin, you know, to the moon. And also on the weekly, the 50 and 200, this is the first time that we're ever going to get a death cross. On the EMA, the MA might show different, but I use the EMA. So we're going to about to see a death cross on the weekly, which isn't pretty. And I usually see these as like sell the news events. So when it happens, I typically want to see like a pump and then it breaks down. So I'm hoping Bitcoin can pump up here. If we go back to the daily, it looks like, you know, like I mentioned, we've triple bottomed here. Hopefully we can just keep, you know, moving up, testing this break right through and then test this uh, trend line right here. So I'm looking for us to pump, either reject here or trade above here and then get rejected here. And then make our way back down to the lows as I said and even head on to lower lows. And there's so much uncertainty in markets right now. We're still looking at like GBDC and DCG with like and Genesis who potentially are having these bankruptcy claims and are potentially insolvent. There's so much contagion from FTX crashing. Like this, it, it, it's getting worse and worse every day. Um, and everything that's happened, it's like, you wouldn't expect it. Who would have expected FTX to go down? So that's so why it's like holding your private keys, not your keys, not your coins. I know it's so like cliche, but it's, 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 it's super important to do so. I wanted to touch on crypto total market cap as well. We broke down under the trillion. Let me get rid of these moving averages. It's crazy to see that the moving average, the 50 on the monthly, uh, is actually in line with the trillion dollar mark. We retested it multiple times. I could have sold each time, but I've um, been holding like a trooper. So what the next, the next area that I'm looking for is us to hold this right here. I don't want us to trade past the previous all-time high um, from total market cap, which was approximately $761 billion. So we're just holding right above that. If we trade under and you know everything falls down, I expect the market to fall somewhere between $400 billion. So pretty much a cut in half. And we've seen a lot of these altcoins just like evaporate. Uh, you know, get deleted. And you don't want to be positioned in an altcoin. I mean, a lot of them are already 80 to 90% down, but they can fall another 80 to 90% down and it really hurts. We're holding above here on a thread. Pretty much Bitcoin uh, dictates where everything goes. If Bitcoin crashes, Ethereum will crash. And I'm kind of looking for the same thing on Ethereum too. I'm looking for a pup into the 13s. And if we can break through the 13s to the 1500s and then make our way back down. People are talking about three-digit Ethereum and it's very likely given the atmosphere we're in. 
I just wanted to do a quick video on on uh, Bitcoin in my thoughts. So this is kind of it. I'm looking for us to pump here and kind of get rejected to make new lows. I am just watching day by day and as um, everything changes, my analysis might change. So make sure to stay up to date. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Get into the Discord because we're sharing a ton of like opportunities from airdrops. If we see any NFTs that are you know, potentially profitable or uh, interesting, we'll share them. We're sharing pretty much anything we can, any opportunity we can. So we want to make as much money as possible and position ourselves very well for the next bull market so we can become multi-millionaires and billionaires. So make sure to, you know, do not miss out on these opportunities. Do not miss out on repositioning yourself. It has been crazy. Life knocks you down. Sometimes you just got to hit back. Don't stay down. Like, make a plan. Let's figure this out. Look for the best performing coins or the, you think the best performing coins that are going to be popping in the next few years. Build that portfolio. Start learning as much as possible. Do all that great stuff. And we're here to help you guys do that. We are trying to just um, dominate the field. And this is the best time to start learning. And honestly, the best time to get into the game while everything's cheap you thought 69k btc was nice it's at 16k and it might get cheaper so make sure you're ready um and if you have any questions post them below this is a quick update on bitcoin we're going to be doing more trading videos a ton of uh alts on bt on binance are just flying right now so we're going to be posting setups and we're going to be taking these trades right along with you guys enjoy the day and i'll see you guys tomorrow